Hey y'all, it's Elizabeth with another episode of the podcast, and today I am here with one of my good friends from all the way back in high school, Maria Lawson. So Maria, how are you today? Hey, I'm good. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, thanks for coming. Okay, so today Maria is going to talk to us a little bit about her involvement in both high school and in college, uh, ways to get involved, what she gained from it, all that good stuff. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. So Maria, what made you initially want to get involved in high school? So in high school, whenever I came to my um, high school, ninth grade, as everyone does, I had auditioned to be on the dance team, and so I was part of the dance team, and I loved it a lot, and I loved that community that I found, so I really wanted to find that across campus and be able to build multiple networks and get to know people from all across my school, and so I just kind of dipped my toe in a bunch of different things and was able to find out what I love. Love that. That's awesome. And then what about with college? So in college, it was a little bit similar, but also kind of different because I was a transfer student to the University of North Texas. So I came in as a sophomore and I didn't have the whole dorm situation or first flight week or any of that stuff to force myself to meet people. And so I kind of had to pave my own way a little bit. So I was like, I might as well join organizations. It's a great way to build a network, get to know some people around me. And I was already kind of had that fuel from high school. And so kind of the same thing, I was able to join and meet a lot of new people. That's awesome. Okay, so what were the best ways that you found to join clubs and get involved? So I would say the best thing is find what you genuinely like and what you think you're going to enjoy spending your free time doing. Because a lot of people think that there's organizations they need to join or ones that seem like they have the most clout or the things that seem up their alley but may not be. But in reality, it's important to join what just you think you will have fun going to it and you'll look forward going to. Because if you're not having fun, there's really no reason to spend your free time doing it. So at UNT, we had a bullet journal club that I knew some people were in. Um, we had I did dance marathon my first semester because I was a dancer and I also love helping kids. And so there's just so many different avenues to get involved with. So, with. so really just scrolling through the website with all the organizations and seeing what sparks your interest and also trying out a bunch of different things. Yeah, I love that you mentioned it, trying out new things. At, at Ole Miss, which is where I went to college, we use the rule of three, which is one organization that's new to you, so something that's out of your comfort zone, one organization that you're comfortable with. So for me, that was like the dance company because I danced in high school. And then the third one is something to do with your major. So did you kind of follow that timeline or did you branch out and do different clubs? Yeah, I kind of followed that timeline. I would say it was a little bit different, but I definitely joined something for my major. I was involved with the newspaper. Uh, I think that's really important just because obviously you're at college to get a degree. You might as well take it the extra mile about to go above and beyond. And then also going outside your comfort zone is super important because you're not going to find out you like something if you don't try it. And so that's kind of what I did with um, program council, with planning events and stuff, because I didn't know if I would like it, but I was able to join and I loved it. And then also within your comfort zone, I was able to join stuff that I knew I would like, such as dance marathon, student government, kind of stuff I had done in the past and was able to just keep doing it. That's awesome. So this is kind of a hard question, but what was your favorite club in college that you were a part of? Ooh, that is a hard one (laughs) because I loved all the ones that I did. But um, I would say my favorite was probably the newspaper, the North Texas Daily, just because that was the very first thing I joined when I came to UNT. I went to the orientation the week before school started, and it was always been something I wanted to do was to be involved with newspaper in college. I think it's just a super cool platform, and it's really good practice for the real world. And I was able to eventually climb the ranks and become editor in chief, which was really important to me, which helped me get my job that I'm in now, which is really nice. So I think it's just overall really great opportunity. I made a really close friends with all the staff I still talk to them every day our group chat is still pop in so it's really fun just like getting to be with people who have the same interests same major and everything I love that so I know you mentioned talking to some of the advisors and the staff that worked for the newspaper so talk a little bit a little bit about connections and how that works with being involved Yeah, definitely. So connections are super beneficial from being involved. I've been able to meet people from kind of all areas of campus um, through being involved. And so it was really nice whenever I had a question about something or if I needed a recommendation letter, I was able to network with people. And like, for example, in the journalism department, I had all of these people who were so willing to help us and who were so willing to write us recommendation letters, provide us with advice, answer our questions at midnight on a Thursday just because I emailed them and they replied back immediately. It was people who genuinely cared and these people who go that extra mile to advise a college organization they're there because they're passionate about it and so it's so nice to actually utilize those resources and use those people that's awesome 
Okay, so you've already kind of touched on this a little bit, but go a little bit more in depth about how your involvement has specifically better prepared you for the future. So you've talked a little bit, a little bit about your job, but what about just life skills in general? Yeah, it was definitely super helpful in multiple ways. First, just kind of putting myself out there and meeting new people. Whenever I came to UNT, like I said, I didn't know that many people aside from my roommates who um, were from the same hometown as me. And so it really put me out there to join student government and talk to someone I'd never talked to before, which is something I may not have been as comfortable doing before. And then also just the professional side of it. I've gone to so many mock interviews, mock networking dinners, so many things in college that prepared me for now that I'm at my job. I feel comfortable talking to new people or going to a fancy dinner and actually no dinner etiquette and all of these different things that I'm not going to learn in the classroom and then also just although I didn't do anything for the resume build because I think you should only do things you're passionate about just not to put on the resume it is very helpful to have these things on your resume so I went into my job interview and they were like oh wow you've been running this college newspaper for this long you know how to delegate tasks how to work with writers how to write how to edit all these things we're happy to bring you on board even though you don't have you haven't had a full-time job before whenever that may have not been the case if I just had had my classroom experiences perfect okay so kind of a tricky question but what is the worst or hardest thing about being involved in college yeah I would say the hardest thing is definitely just not being able to do it all because there's so many things I wanted to do and I was so busy all the time and it was hard to kind of understand like what to prioritize and how to manage my time and everything but over time I was able to learn those skills and really tackle them better but sometimes I would still get very overwhelmed I might have people texting me all the time with questions um, concerns comments ideas and stuff and so kind of finding that work-life balance would be difficult sometimes but it did prepare me for my job now because now I have better boundaries I have better time management skills and everything that's awesome Okay, what is the best thing about being involved? I would just say it's so great to be in the know about everything that's going on around you and also just having a network of people who know you, support you, and you can turn to. Um, my friends that I met in my organizations in college, I still hang out with regularly. I still talk to. We still have so much in common outside of these organizations. And so it's really just a great opportunity to meet new people and really put yourself out of your comfort zone and gain those professional skills and also just staying busy if I just went to class and went home I would be so bored all the time it was nice to have something to do so I'd go to class go to work and then also go to these meetings and be able to socialize and have fun and talk about stuff that I actually was passionate about that's awesome okay so we probably should have done this at the beginning but kind of walk us through um, the highlights of what you were involved with and the leaders the leadership positions that you had within those organizations yeah so definitely so i would say that three of my favorite things i were involved in were the north texas daily like i said earlier um homecoming crew and the north texas 40 so um in the north texas daily i had started as a volunteer writer and then i ended up working my way up to paid staff which is really nice to also not have to worry about having an off-campus job and so I was a paid writer and then section editor and then editor in chief. And so through that, I was able to get lots of practical skills that I use in my job to this day. And then um, with Homecoming, I got involved with that um, at the end of my sophomore year going into my junior year. Um, and I joined the Homecoming crew as the service coordinator. And so I was responsible for coordinating the service events and planning those throughout Homecoming week. And then the next year, I was able to be the student director of Homecoming, which is really special to get to oversee all the traditions on campus and work with advisors, work with administration, and really get my communication up, working to delegate with the team. And Homecoming crew was able to really walk me through some of those practical skills. And our advisor was really big on using them in our daily life. So she said, okay, you're a journalism major. I know this isn't journalism, but what can we do to still develop your career in this position? So that was really nice and helpful, obviously. And I was also involved in the North Texas 40, which was the top 40 student leaders on campus, which was nice to get to surround myself with like-minded people who were also passionate about some of the same things and network, learn proper etiquette, learn how to run a meeting. And then my senior year, I ended up being president of the organization, which taught me how to work with a new executive board. Um, none of them I had really known before, so I got to get to know them better, work with a fresh set of faces, and also really just um, collaborate to make our campus better, which is a super important skill to have just in life, being able to use what you have to improve a group of people. And so, yeah, I highly recommend getting involved to anyone. It was definitely one of my greatest experiences, and I've looked back on it very fondly. Sweet. Okay, so final question, biggest piece of advice for somebody who wants to get involved in either high school or college? 
Yeah, definitely. So I would say my biggest advice would be just to put yourself out there. Even if you don't know if you're going to be interested in something, everything is worth one try. Go do it once. See if you like it. If you hate it, you never have to show your face there again. But if you love it, that's perfect. You can keep it going. You can get involved with it, join a leadership position and everything. So I say always put yourself out there and then you never know what'll work out. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much, Maria. You're the best. Um, another episode. And stay tuned for another episode.